Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining our, our uh, presentation here of our Council Member for a Day. Well, Council Member for a Day is a great program. Um, we had a great uh, group of students. We did a video contest. We said, submit a video on some issue that you think we need to solve from a public policy perspective. Uh, and Fola Shade, who is our student from Seneca Valley, did a compelling video on the cost of child care. This ties into a deeper issue in Montgomery County that I'd like to speak on. Daycare is essential for so many working parents and guardians in Montgomery County. I wanted to choose a topic that could connect youth and also, you know, parents and, and working adults and families. And so I felt like talking about affordable childcare was the perfect way to do that because it really impacts, you know, both sides. And so I wanted everybody to be involved, you know, in the conversation and to really, you know, hit all Montgomery County residents because everybody's impacted by it. Uh, and so she was picked and so she'll, she'll be up there today with me participating fully. Thank you. <laughs> this is our council member for a day. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Good to see you, sir. Yeah. You may notice I have someone sitting right next to me here, uh, uh, Fola Shade Ipe Binu, uh, who is our 2023 council member for a day. So obviously her family, her mom is in the audience as well. Uh, the, uh, the mighty Seneca Valley High School. Um, uh, council member Balcom is gonna be very happy about that, that the up count, you know. Seeing you today at the dais and seeing the video, I think it's these times where we feel most hopeful about our future. She's already told me she has questions and <laughs> things to, that she'll want to say today. And then that, that gets forwarded to the council, and then the council can change it. Well, there's 11 of us, so, or today there's 12, so, but normally it's six votes. Whatever six people want to do is what happens. If you agree, you'll raise your hand. And so all those in favor uh, of the OPEB policy as approved by the GEO committee? That's the first 12 0 you've ever had. <laughs> first. Thank you, Councilmember Katz. Part of the responsibility of the council is we have land use authority. And uh, so this is the master plan for that area. The community's hurting right now, and people are in fear. They are deeply concerned about their safety. When so the, the hope speak. is by layering on state support and local county speak. support, to you. Uh, we can protect the actions that hate is not accepted in Montgomery County. Thank you, Councilmember Jawando. Thank you, uh, I really appreciate uh, the work on introducing this. The important thing to recognize here, one of the many important things is that all of these hate incidents and bias incidents are up. Uh, Ms. President, uh, my council member for a day has requested to speak, so if we Absolutely. could yield to her. Yeah, I wanted to recall um, an experience I had where I found myself in a religious uh, place, in a place of worship. And so I remember the religious leader actually shared with the you know congregation that if someone wanted to harm the community, they would go there first to that you know that place of worship. And so I just wanted to share that experience to show support for the funding, especially because the hate and the bias and the violence continue you know all over the nation and the world. Thank you, Councilmember Jawando. Thank you, Councilmember Epiminu. I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, a lot of her achievement. She, she's she's self motivated, so she does a lot of things. I can't even I can't even keep up with her schedule. So half the time I don't know where she has meetings here, or there, and I'm like I can't. <laughs> but um, I'm very I'm just very glad, very proud mom, um, and I'm just looking forward to her future to see what she's gonna you know what all of this is gonna amount to but I'm sure it's gonna be very good it's a great program for students to get involved in the public policy process and think about what they might want to do because whether you run for office one day which we hope many of them will or that you're just an active engaged citizen it's important that everyone's engaged with their government so we're gonna stand up and get in this picture so we'll slide over here Open them up. The, the key is that you don't want to stand behind somebody tall. <laughs> the guy with the camera and the purple shirt, Sky. Yeah. You can see Sky. You can, you can see, see you're in the picture. Oh, this is the most important thing for counselor of the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All this right, is... I can see Sky. I think I'm good. Yeah, there you go. That's a good sign. You'll be you'll, you'll be in the picture now. <laughs> Um, so this is a, a proclamation of the Montgomery County Council, whereas the council member for a day challenge is an opportunity for middle and high school students in Montgomery County to add their voice. And at this day, the 28th of November in the year 2023, signed by myself on behalf of the whole council. Congratulations again.
It was really good discussion. A lot of different uh, points brought up, and I just love how everybody, you know, everybody's a Montgomery County resident, so there's so many different backgrounds, and everybody's been, you know, like I said, a pedestrian, everybody's been living here, so it's a lot of good things brought up. Yeah, yeah, I did get to talk, which is super cool. I've never talked up here. I've never even been in this building until yesterday, so it's crazy to just come here yesterday and already be up on here. <laughs> so. No election, nothing, right? <laughs>